In this video, I'm going to show you how to add system clock timer to our QC system. So first, what we're going to do, and this is always good when you have a working system, is to go find the directory of your working system. And just all we do is control C, control V, copy paste our system. And this way, when we're working in it, if we break it in any way whatsoever, we can go back and always still have a working system. It's a great way to do this. So we're just going to name this system2 and open it up. Everything is relative, so you can just open up the Cordis project file. All right, now in Cordis, we can see this is our system that we already pre-built and everything that we built in the last lessons. Let's come up here and open up QSYS so we can add that system clock timer. Again, this is our system right here. What we're going to come up here and search, we're going to search for an interval timer. Interval, interval timer under processors and peripherals, peripherals, interval timer. Double click to add it. We're going to do one millisecond. Um, that's good. We want full featured. 32, repeatable snapshot. Yep, okay, this is all good. Finish. Let's rename this by right click, rename. And we're name this sys clock timer. And what we're going to want to connect here is the clock to sys, sys, uh, system clock timer clock to clock clock. I want to connect the reset to both the clock reset and J, JTAG debug reset. S1 to just the data master and our interrupt. We want our interrupt on this to be zero. We want this to be the number one most thing that gets interrupted. So now that this is all good, let's take a look at our errors. System clock overlaps, overlaps, and overlaps. Okay, so that just is saying that we have our base addresses that are overlapping. You can come up here, system, sign base addresses. All of those are good and done. Now we're ready to generate. Generate, generate HDL, fairy log, create block, block system file, BSF, generate. All right, so now that we've generated this, let's minimize our system. Right here, we're gonna need to delete this since this is from our old system. Delete, right click, insert, or just double click. Let's find our new system. So under system two, output file, all right, system, Yes, to yeah, video. Okay, bring that up here. Add, make sure everything adds up. Clock to clock, LED green, and keys. All right, everything matches up. We can save our Neos2 BDF, and now generate in Cordis. All right, now that you can see. The compilation was successful. For the Quartus 2 full compilation was successful. Zero arrows, 552 warnings. So we're good here. Everything is good. So now we successfully now have a system that has a system clock timer in it. The system and all the documentation for this system it will be available at fpga.shawnwrl.com. Go check it out and download it so you can see the system 